Rio de Janeiro is many people's idea of paradise. This city is beautiful, but there's trouble in paradise. Rio has become the epicenter for Brazil's chronic problems with government shortfalls in spending and the crime and unemployment that come with it. Now it is even affecting football. Rio has run out of money. The problem's long in the making because the state is heavily dependent on oil, whose price has fallen, but last year's Olympics made it far worse. The city declared a state of financial emergency before the Games even started and has had difficulty paying its workers ever since. Civil servants have gone without money. Teachers have been striking. Unemployment nationally is over 13%, but Rio's appears to be higher. And with Brazil's national government trying to freeze state spending for the next 20 years, Rio's problems are now the toughest in the nation. The Tribunal de Contas do Estado do Rio de Janeiro is the organ responsible for fiscalizar as contas do governador. E justamente um órgão que é composto por sete conselheiros, cinco conselheiros desse, desse órgão, cinco conselheiros estão presos por desvio, por corrupção, por gestão fraudulenta, por roubo, por propina. Então, a cidade do Rio de Janeiro está pior do que outras cidades exatamente por conta disso. É a corrupção que trouxe, ajudou a trazer a falência aqui do estado do Rio de Janeiro, o governador não consegue fazer a economia girar. Para você ter uma ideia, Ano passado, o governo deixou de pagar 10 bilhões e 300 milhões de reais para fornecedores. Então, são pessoas que, além de servidores, fornecem é, os insumos para que os serviços possam acontecer aqui no Rio de Janeiro. This is the Great Maracanã Stadium, venue for two World Cup finals and last year's opening and closing ceremonies at the Olympics. Now, today, there is the derby game between Flamengo and Fluminense, the two clubs that share the Maracanã. But it's not being held here, it's being held in a stadium eight hours drive out of Rio. And the reason for that is that the Maracanã is not fit for use. Contractors massively overbilled for the work of improving the Maracanã for the World Cup. Then, after the Olympics, there has been a dispute over who should pay for maintenance between the Rio Games and Maracanã SA, the consortium led by the scandal hit construction group Odebrecht, many of whose executives are now in prison over an organized bribery scandal. Maracanã said the organizers failed to hand the stadium back in adequate condition, a contention they strongly denied, leading to a dispute over who should pay for the maintenance. While they argued the stadium fell into disrepair, thieves and vandals entered stealing seats, the pitch withered and died, and even the electricity was cut off for a while. Now, there's no danger that football is going to die in Rio de Janeiro. We're here now at the Estadio Nilson Santos, which held the track and field events during the Olympics, and local club Botafogo are about to play a game which, as you can see, has plenty of people here. But it's still extraordinary that Rio's legacy at the moment is that it had one great global stadium, and as a result of the Olympics, at least for now, it's lost it.